Hey besties, so I bought a file from SD and it did not work for me. I wanted to be able to make these. Um, so I bought the template for it and it just, for some reason, did not want to work for me. So I came up with something on my own on how to make it work. This is just a Dollar Tree um, pack of straws that I bought and they have the Disney princesses on them. So stay tuned to this video to see how I turned this into my own template for straw sliders. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to upload. I'm gonna go to take a photo and then I will get my photo right and snap okay I'll choose use photo okay now I'm going to hit the crop button and then I will just remove out everything I don't really need I'll hit this black background to remove it. I'm gonna remove, remove the center of my straws. Okay. You can always look here and see if you have any cleanup you need to do. Okay. So I seen a little bit. I hit the erase and then uh -oh, you can always go back. So I'm happy with that. I'll go ahead and click next. I wanna save it as a print then cut image. Okay, so this is how they come out. I'm gonna do a few of them just to show you uh, basically how I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this one and I will choose my background. So let's say I'll choose a different background so you guys can see exactly what you can do with this. You can literally use any type of background you like. I'm gonna put this to like two inches and then this to two inches. And then all you're going to do is just unlock it. Okay. Then you'll go to down here to your, you'll highlight both of them and then go down here to slice. Okay, so that's what you'll have and you can use any background you want. Let's do another one. Let's see what other backgrounds I have on here. Make that smaller. Put it over this. Unlock it, make it bigger. Highlight it. Oops. Highlight it. Slice it. Boom. So you you have your background. You can either you know put a picture inside of it, or you can add it. So when you go and print something, you can already have it on there. So let's say I want to put a picture of. Um, Let's say I want to put a picture of my son. All that I have to do 
is just put a shape in over his face. Like that. So I have his face. And let's say we were doing a Lego party. All I have to do is that. And then you have customized straw sliders for your party. And you can you can just put that in over it or you can print it as a sticker. So if I put it together and I flatten it, it will print with the um, picture on it like that. I just made a few of them, um, made them into something so that I can uh, print and then show you guys completely how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and change the size here to 1.5 by two. So my measurements for these are all 1.5 by two. And I will go ahead and click make it Okay, so this was the end result. All that I did was take a dollar two straw and my straw topper and just do that. And there you go. This is the one that I did with the picture. I just printed out like cardstock, no sticker, no nothing. And I did one more. Where and so you can do whatever you want with these, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to take something and turn it into something you may want. So this one was about three inches down and two or one and a half inches across. Let me see. It's a little over one and a half. So like... Um, one and three fourths, and then by three, I believe. I did mine's a bit smaller. Mine's are two inches down and one and a half across. So I'm guessing you could put like maybe hmm, I would I want to say about anywhere between twelve and fifteen on one page. So you're not really spending that much money making these and you can customize your party. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions and please like, share, and subscribe. As always, I'll see you on the next video.